Hey, what is up, guys? It is your one arm boy, Marcel Fuller, but better known as One Arm Wonder. So a bunch of y'all have been very curious and have been asking me, how do I cook food in the kitchen? So to answer that question for all y'all fan and stands out there, I have decided to start a brand new series called... Before we begin though, I would really like to clear up something. No, I am not a professional chef. I am not the best at cooking because everybody knows that Marshmallow is obviously the best cook out there. Shout out to you, Marshmallow. So with all that being said, guys, please don't destroy me in the comment section. I am not a professional cook. Again, I will probably make mistakes and I will probably do something a little bit different than you do. I am open to positive feedback from y'all guys. Tell me how to make my food better or make my channel better. That's all I'm asking. Ugh. With all that boring stuff said, let's cook some tacos. Cue the intro. Alrighty, to cook some tacos, you're gonna need onions, some ground beef, some tomatoes, some shredded cheese, sour cream, lettuce, and some taco shells or tortillas, and some taco seasoning. So before you start touching food and everything, it's important that you wash your hands, or for my case, hands. So you get rid of germs and don't get sick. Speaking of germs, you should also rinse off your fruits and vegetables before you begin. Alrighty, so now that we have everything washed and cleaned and everything, um, I'm gonna do my sides first. I'm gonna prepare like the toppings on the taco first. Usually I actually do this um, while the meat is cooking, but since I'm doing the video, all of this is taking a lot longer than um, it usually takes me to do, and I really don't want to burn my meat. So I'm going to um, show y'all how I cut things up um, to put on the taco. To do this, I will be using a cutting board with two prongs on it. This cutting board is helpful because since I only have one hand to cut, the prongs will hold whatever I need still while I use the knife to cut it. Cut fruits or vegetables. I usually use a regular knife, but today I will be using a rocky knife just to show it to you guys. This knife is awesome. It can cut through anything like fruits and vegetables. So I also use this knife to cut steak. This is what I usually use it for. I just wanted to show you guys these products um, because they're really helpful to me and maybe they'll be helpful to you guys. I would like to give a huge shout out to my mom um, because um, she's the one who bought me these products and she's the one who found these for me. And I am very thankful that uh, she did that um, because they make everything um, in life for me in the kitchen so much easier. Um, so for y'all guys, I have put a link in the description box so y'all can uh, search these up too and buy your own if you need. Again, this is not sponsored. This is something that I just find useful and I just wanted to share it with y'all guys. So now that all my sides are ready, Let's start cooking the meat. So to start off the meat, I'm going to chop an onion. Um, I have actually never done this before. I've never put an onion in my taco. I saw it the other day on a YouTube uh, video and I was curious about it and I kind of want to try it just to see how it tastes. So um, you can put that in the comment section. Do y'all put onions in your tacos? Alrighty, so to chop up an onion, you have to take the wrapping off of it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top, I'm going to cut the bottom, and to do that, I'm just going to stab it, like that, and then I'm going to slice. And this is what it should look like with all, without the peeling.
fight! It's enough to make a grown man cry, but not this man. Get back in there, Tia. So now that my onions are ready, I'm going to go and wash my hand again before I start touching meat. And then after I do the meat, I'm going to wash my hand again before I start touching this food. You want to do this um, because you don't want to get sick from touching raw meat and then other foods and then spreading it everywhere. Hey guys, so to start the meat, I'm going to turn up the temperature to a little bit over medium, but not high. So I'm gonna just wait a little while for this to um, heat up. Okay, so um, the skillet has heated up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of onion in here. Let these cook a little bit. Mix it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my onions that are partially cooked and I'm going to dump them. I'm gonna dump them in this container for later use. To cook with the meat later on. Okay, and then I'm going to take some meat, a little, like, little chunks at a time, and just place them down. Move it around. So in case y'all are curious, I actually do not cook from my wheelchair. The reason is it's way easier to see if you're on a stool. So if you can, um, if you're in a wheelchair, try to get on top of the stool. It's just so much easier. The meat is cooked. Um, usually what you do after this is you get rid of the oil and all that grease and stuff. But I'm using ground sirloin, so um, it actually doesn't have any. Like, if you look, there's like no grease or anything like that so I am going to put in the onion and just cook it with them for a little bit of flavor I'm kind of excited about these because I've never done this before so now what you're gonna do is you're going to put some sauce in there like seasoning mix uh, I don't make my own uh, seasoning mix because I don't really know how I might do like research it and try to attempt it Alrighty, so I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning in there. Personally, I don't like too much, so I'm not gonna use this whole entire thing. But... Okay, so for the seasoning, it says to use a uh, three-quarter cup water, but I didn't use all seasoning, so I'm not gonna use all the water. So I'm gonna just... Alrighty, so I uh, put my seasoning in here, I put my onions in here, the meat is cooked, um, so I'm going to start putting my taco together. Okay, so um, if there was any grease um, in my meat, what I would have done though, just in case y'all are wondering, um, so what normal people or like able-bodied people do, is you know they kind of like dump it out but like if i do that the meat's gonna go because i don't have another hand to hold it so what i do um is i i kind of like tip it over a little bit try to get as much uh, as i can and then what i do is i get a container with uh some paper towels in it and then i dump my meat in the paper towels so the paper towels can soak up the meat 
and then I put another layer on top of it so it can soak it up even more and then I dump the meat back into the pan so basically if there were grease that's what I would have done and then I would have put the onions in there and the water and the seasoning and but with this meat there is no uh, grease uh, so I'm kind of lucky I didn't have to do that if you really want to be extra, what you can do, um, if you really want to, you don't have to, um, you can heat the tortillas, so get a skillet, and then just kind of toast them. Um, I don't do this always, because this takes a little extra time, but why not for this? Just heat them up a little bit. So if you're not a soft taco guy, if you're a hard taco guy, um, one of my roommates is actually a hard taco guy, so what I'm gonna do for him is I'm gonna just stick the hard tacos in the oven for a couple minutes and then take them out. So that's how you do the hard tacos if you want to heat those up. And so now we have everything we need. We have the meat, we have salad, um, I like cheese on mine, I like tomatoes on mine, um, and I personally put sour cream on mine, you could put guacamole or whatever, but personally, I don't like guacamole, I don't like guacamole, I don't like guacamole. SON OF A BOY! Every time I got it at a Mexican restaurant, I would get it, so I could give it to my mom, so I never like guacamole, you can sue me, whatever, um, but I like sour cream. Alrighty guys, so this is the end of the video. You know, I made my taco, about to taste it. Looks really good, huh? So the onions in this are actually pretty good. I was skeptical at first, but it's actually pretty good. So, um, you know, you might think of me as weird, but I actually now like onions in my tacos. So, thank you so much guys for watching. Um, if you have anything to say, um, comment down below, give me a big thumbs up, and give me suggestions of what else you want me to cook. Alright, so this is about it. I showed you how to make a taco, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.